first got here I used to have to pinch myself every now and then and it's sort of become almost normal for me now. Yeah, yeah, I do live in a castle but <laughs> it's um it's very handy if you want to joust and, you know, dress up as a, a knight or what. It works out you know, pretty well for me. Yep, you heard that right. Phil here lives in a real-life castle in Ballarat and is also Australia's only full-time jouster. Jousting is when two knights fully decked out in very heavy armour charge at each other on horseback with big sticks called lances and they do it all while trying to hit each other as hard as possible. Sounds pretty insane, right? Well, yeah, okay, it is pretty insane. Jousting started all the way back in the Middle Ages, but not on the battlefield. It was actually a sport for rich people. Knights would travel from across the land to compete for money and honour. To win a joust, you can knock your opponent off their horse, or score points by landing the best hits, or by breaking your lance. The sport faded away with the Middle Ages, but has reappeared over the past 50 years, with new comps popping up all over the world. Earlier this year, Phil the jousting master decided to take his mate Cliff under his wing. Cliff started here as a much better horseman than I am. Even then though, he, he still had a lot to learn to a actually joust. And the pair spent months training up for the St Ives Medieval Fair in Sydney, one of Australia's top jousting tournaments. I suppose success having won it before, I'd, I suppose I need to win again. <laughs> for me to just present myself and do okay with it is a win. Anything more than that, well, then it's a great win. <laughs> when the big day finally came round, a twist of fate saw the pair match together in the first elimination final. These two brothers in arms from Victoria, they will be jousting for a place in the semi-final. It was friend versus friend. Oh, huge contact! But Cliff shocked just about everyone by beating the man who taught him everything he knows. He has definitely handed off the torch to his student here. Cliff then scored another big win to make the grand final. It's time for the final. Cliff Marisma in black and white. Anna Kutz come oh! <laughs> Nearly a dehorsing! The well-struck blow forced Cliff's opponent to retire, making Cliff the underdog the new champion of jousting. Cliff Marisma is going to be your champ. The 2016 champion at the St Ives Medieval Fair. The two mates shared a big hug. At the end of a day, neither are likely to forget any time soon. I owe him so much. He's one of my best mates, my mentor, my teacher. One of us had to go and uh, there's, there's no other person that I would have rather uh, lose to.